What is going on guys? TD back with another video for you guys today. And today we are going to be talking about the lovely 3070. I had the box upside down, but there you guys go. So if you guys saw my PC build that I posted, I don't even know, probably a couple months ago, uh, showing you guys my PC setup. I kind of talked about how when I built my uh, new PC, like uh, probably like last year-ish or so, I started off with a, a 1080 Ti and I ended up uh, getting uh, one of the 3070 Founders Editions uh, from Micro Center when they actually released. And I've been using that ever since. But as of recently, if you guys are PC video or PC people, I'm sure you are if you're watching this video, um, I ended up getting a 3080 Ti um, from uh, Micro Center as well. Unfortunately, not a Founders Edition, which I wanted. Um, this is the only, well, they had a couple other versions, but this is when I got up to the front of the line, that's all that was available. Uh, was the MSI one. So unfortunately I had to go with that. And then of course, with my luck, um, I was having problems with my 3080 crashing my PC and a bunch of stuff like that. It could have been um, driver related or something like that. I still don't know. Um, but as of recording this video, I actually had to send in my 3080 to get um, worked on at MSI or have them take a look at it because I still don't know what's wrong with it. Um, so that's why I'm kind of posting this video. Um, I did want to let you guys know that I am going to be selling this soon. I'll post an actual video kind of showing it off um, once I actually get the 3080 back and I can put that on my computer and I can take out my 3070 because that is, that's the only graphics card I have right now. So that's why I'm using it. As you guys can see, I do have the box right here, but yeah, you guys can't see it, but it's in my computer, uh, underneath my camera there. So again, once I do get the 3080 back and I can put that back in my computer and everything's good, I'm going to be selling uh, my 3070 founders edition. Um, so I know obviously these are a hot commodity right now. They're really hard to get. Um, I know some of you guys have some questions and stuff. I'm not really going to talk too much about it this video. Again, I just kind of wanted to just put this out there. So some of you guys maybe that are looking uh, to get graphics cards and stuff that you guys just know I'm going to be selling one soon so you guys can get first dibs on it. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to be selling it yet. I'll definitely uh, update you guys again. There'll be an actual full video kind of explaining it and I'll show you guys my actual 3070 and stuff. Again, I only can show you the box right now because the 3070 is in my computer, but I honestly have no complaints with this card, man. I, I actually love this card and it's actually going to be really hard to sell for me. The only reason I'm going to actually be selling it instead of just keeping it, because again, I know these are very hard to get, is that the MSI 3080 Ti that I ended up buying was around $1,800, which I know is kind of crazy. I know some of you guys would be like, oh, my, my whole computer's like not even that much. I know it's kind of stupid to buy, but as you guys know, the, the 30 series cards and obviously these new TIs, the 3070 Ti and 3080 Ti, all of them probably from here on out for a while are going to be very hard to get. So um, yeah, I ended up just getting it just because I knew I had this and this thing's worth uh, a decent amount to where I could basically sell this and it pretty much would pay for the 3080 Ti. And it's like such a substantial upgrade like graphics wise and everything like that to my system that I it was worth it to me to do. So that's only the only reason I ended up actually getting the 30 Ti, 3080 Ti was because I knew I had this and I could actually sell it for a lot to basically pay for that one. So I know some of you guys, when you guys see the video and stuff and you guys see probably what I'm offering, I haven't decided on a price yet, but I'll kind of kind of look around the market and see what they're going for. But it's probably going to be a decent amount of money, which I know some of you guys might get mad about, but that's just how it is, man. They're, they're, they're like Yeezys or like any like hype beast like shoe that people would resell. That's just how it goes. But um, again, that's the only reason I ended up getting this 3080 Ti and paying that much for it is because I knew I had this to sell. So, um, but yeah, man, it's in great condition. Like I said, I have nothing to complain about the 3070, especially this one. I've had no problems with it at all. It has been absolutely amazing, which was very weird for me because I actually showed up to Micro Center like right in the morning. Um, when this graphics card came out, I actually forgot that it was releasing and woke up and got to Micro Center like an hour after it was open and they actually had a crap ton of these left in stock. However, for the 3080 Ti, and I ended up actually camping uh, overnight there and I uh, was like 40th in line. People were literally there like the previous day, like waiting, for, like literally for so long. So I ended up uh, only being able to get that instead of like the EVGA one and stuff. They unfortunately didn't have the Founders Edition, which I absolutely love. So like I said, it's going to be so hard for me to sell this car, but I absolutely have to. Unfortunately, as of now, I can't afford to uh, have uh, both of these graphics cards. So hopefully um, this will go to um, somebody that's actually going to use this and, and put it to good use. Because like I said, it's a really good graphics card. Um, and especially for somebody who's looking to upgrade their build, if you guys are on anything um, under like a 30 series or maybe even like under a 2080 Ti-ish, um, they compare or this card pretty much compares to that. If you're anything lower than that, then I would say this is well worth the upgrade and you get a bunch of the new features and stuff with the RTX and all the stuff that the 30 series cards come with. So 
Um, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to post that video for you guys, kind of let you guys know. Again, I'm sure probably at this point, if anybody's actually watching this, you are um, a huge PC fan and uh, wondering on how you can uh, get this graphics card. But again, I'll update you guys. If you guys are actually really serious about uh, buying this possibly from me, uh, the best way to contact me and kind of stay in touch is my Twitter, which will be linked in the description below. So be sure to go follow me over there. And that's when I'll kind of tweet out and stuff when I'm actually selling it and all the, the whole shebang with that. But again, I have to wait till I get this 3080 back. So um, depending on when I post this video, it could be a month after, it could be two months. I honestly have no clue. With my luck, I'm sure it's probably going to take two to three months to even get my uh, 3080 back. So uh, we'll definitely see. But again, yeah, the best way to contact me and um, stuff is definitely Twitter. So be sure to go follow me over there and you guys will get notified first and stuff when I uh, am actually selling this and all that. If you guys are actually interested in buying it, and then obviously, again, I'm going to post a full video on, on this channel, kind of show you guys what it looks like. Mostly show it so any of you guys that are interested in buying it instead of just like showing pictures and stuff like you'd see on eBay, I'll show you guys that it's it's literally in pristine condition. Like obviously I have like a lot of electronics as you guys can see, I take good care of my stuff. Um, and um, again, I just don't need two graphics cards and I'd rather have a 3080 Ti over a 3070. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely show uh, again another video and show you guys like up close details and stuff so you guys can see that it's not in like any bad condition um, and whatever else you guys wanna see. So. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, that is going to do it for the video. Just again, wanted to let you guys know, uh, and be sure to stay tuned and hopefully I can get my 3080 back because I missed it already. And uh, I really would like it back to throw on my uh, PC. So when I do get that back, I'll update you guys and we will, we will get this on the market. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to comment rate and subscribe. I'm TD and I will see you guys in my next video.